Greetings YouTube! This is Toy Customizer Wake Angel 2001 with the first part of a five part commission from Slate. You may remember Slate as the guy who's already ordered five things from me. Now he wants five more. To call him a loyal customer at this point would be something of an understatement. Anyway, let's get to what he wants me to make for him. Shade the Echidna. Okay, as a reminder to everyone to pay for their figures, uh, the head for this shade figure is coming from another one of my unsold commissions. So even though I used the Knuckles figure as the base, uh, Shade's dreadlocks have a completely different pattern. Where Knuckles hang down around his head, uh, Shade's are all swept back. So I had, to, I had to cut off and sand down all of Knuckles' dreads and then uh, basically rebuild them. Fortunately, the transition point is covered by Shade's headband thing, which in the game would expand into a helmet that would cover her face, allowing her character to remain anonymous so that when the reveal is that the Dark Brotherhood is basically the video game's version of the comic book's Dark Legion, in that they're technologically advanced echidnas who've been trapped in a parallel dimension for several centuries and wish to take over again. Uh, you, you know, uh, yeah, basically Shade is the video game version of Julie Sue. There, I said it. Now, as for Knuckles' hands, I removed the, the big knuck claws and sanded down the, the hand into a nice round shape at that point, and then, uh, cut in the fingers to make it look like a fingered, knuckleless hand, much like Shade, and, um, well, I also had to sand away a little bit of material from the belly to give to give him a more feminine midriff. Although I didn't really have to carve off as much material as when I made Lara Sue because uh, Shade is has the advantage of wearing armor, which bulks her up a little bit. So I have an excuse not to have to carve down the body quite as much. Also, you may notice a little white spot in her right hand in this photo. Uh, that is a peg hole, where I plan to have her wield energy swords. Uh, the energy sword will not be, be in this particular video, because I have not yet received the parts necessary to make it, but by the time that Slate receives this, Shade will have her energy blades like she did in the video game. Okay, Knuckles' shoes are totally the wrong size and shape for this, so I use shadows. Um, they have a more panel-y, technological look to them than Knuckles' big sneakers do. Although, Shade does wear knee-high boots, and, and I would need to do a lot of uh, sculpting to make it, you know, look accurate. As for why I didn't just use, uh, you know, Amy's boots, well... Well, uh, Amy's boots, they may be knee-high already, but they're... they just... You know, they, they have high heels, they, they, they're too round, they just don't look techy enough. Uh, Silver's boots are a little bit more techy looking, and I might have been able to use those, but they're also small. I would have had the problem I had with a figure in the past, Glade, where the Knuckles hands would absolutely dwarf the, the Silver shoes, and it would make the character look very asymmetrical and unbalanced. So, even though extensive sculpt work was required, once painted up, it, uh, it actually does look a lot better using shadow shoes instead. So yeah, shadow shoes were definitely the way to go. So taking a look at the completed shade figure, uh, you may notice that she's very shiny. That's because I used my Testor's paints for her black parts. Um, I still use my Anita's paints for the orange and the pink because basically Test Wars doesn't come in those colors. Uh, but yeah, I think the I think the black paint was really good for that shiny metallic look, so it actually looks like she's wearing real armor. And uh, yeah, as you can see from this picture, she still retains all of her points of articulation except for the ankles. Yeah, Test Wars is a really good paint for her joints because it, it doesn't require sealant, so it doesn't it doesn't gum anything up, which is which is really awesome. All right, this has been another custom action figure made by Toy Customizer Wake Angel 2001. Uh, thank you all for watching.